Yum, yum, yum. I'm going to eat my glowing jello. Oh, hello, children. Welcome to the lab. We're going to have spooky science fun. Today, I'm getting ready to eat my glow in the dark jello. <laughs> Do you want to learn how to make this too? I should say, it's not really glow in the dark exactly. It's fluorescent. Do you know what that means? This jello glows under a black light. Do you know what that means? Huh? A black light is what we call a light that is UV. Ultraviolet! You can't actually see ultraviolet rays. Some insects can see UV, but we can't. Isn't that amazing? UV is at the end of the spectrum. You know, the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Those are all the colors we can see. But after violet comes ultraviolet, UV for short. This is what we use to make glow-in-the-dark posters glow. Oh, there I go again. They're not really glow-in-the-dark. It's not like they can glow on their own. What happens is fluorescent paint absorbs the UV light. Then a different color of light comes out that we can see. That's how our fluorescent jello works. It's because of one very special ingredient. Do you know what it is? Let's look at all our ingredients and see if you can pick it out. We have a cup of boiling water, tonic water, jello, a jar, a bowl, and a spoon. <laughs> so what do you think? Which one of these is fluorescent? Is it the water? No. Is it the jar? No! Is it the jello? Maybe? No, 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 no. That's silly. Regular jello isn't fluorescent. I know! It's the tonic water. What is this stuff anyway? Tonic water is a very bitter drink. Grown ups like it for some reason. I don't know why. It contains a very special ingredient called. Quinine! This is the ingredient that is actually fluorescent. If you shine a black light on it, it glows blue. So the quinine absorbs a UV that we cannot see and then releases a different color light that we can see. Haha, <laughs> so neat! Okay, children, now let's make this very special spooky jello. First, pour the jello powder into the bowl and then very, very carefully add a cup of boiling water. You could let a grown up do this part because it's very, very hot. It's boiling. Stir slowly with the spoon for about two minutes until the jello is completely dissolved. Next, we're going to add our tonic water. Add a cup of this very, very special ingredient. Stir slowly. Okay, we're done. Well, almost. Let's pour it into something. Uh, you can pour it into a jar or some kind of fun mold you get at a party store, like a skeleton or something. That would be pretty neat, yeah. Now we put it into the refrigerator and wait for it to get hard. This takes a long time long time. Like hours. It's ready. Time to watch it glow. First, notice nothing is happening. It doesn't glow on its own. That's why we shouldn't call it glow-in-the-dark jello. It's fluorescent jello. So remember, that means we have to shine UV light on it for a while to charge it up. Then we'll turn off the light and it will fluoresce. Let's do it. Don't look at the UV light. When you do this at home, children, UV is very, very bad for your eyes. You can ask a grown-up for help with this pot. They can't look at the UV light either. Just look away. Now I think we're ready. Let's turn off the lights and see. Wow, it's glowing. It's so spooky. I'm going to take a bite. Ugh, ugh, ugh. 
Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that is truly terrible. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Ugh, that is so bitter. Children, that is not good to eat. We need some whipped cream or something. I'm serious. That is just awful. Who thought that was a good idea? Oh, blah. Oh, oh. Oh. We hope you're having lots of spooky fun in the lab. If you want to see more science videos, click on one of these boxes over here. Right over here. That's the way. Click and watch more very interesting science videos with me and my puppet friends. Bye now.